and the method was whispered through a bamboo tube, and he touched you here. We call it the Nihuan, the spirit gate. This power of the ancestors from his teacher, his teacher before him, what it did is it opened up the pearl of wisdom, they call it the peach of immortality, the, the, the nectar of the gods, the, the drop from the eye of Amun-Ra, Soma, you know, the elixir of life, the flight or tear of the phoenix. And what this did is that it allowed the dormant abilities, the high spiritual aspect of one person inside himself, which was asleep, to awaken naturally and quickly. And so what happens is that this pearl of wisdom is given to the person and it opens up naturally without them having to sit there and really do anything but a simple posture. And so when my teachers gave me these practices, and I have teachers from Mao Shan, the Shangqing Order, in Guangxi Province in China, in Kunlun, uh, who actually was my sister <coughs> who gave it to me. She's my Kung Fu sister. These were two schools that were not united. There was like a little difference between the two. The Red Phoenix and the Kunlun, these two methods to get the gold dragon body, in which the body changed from mass to energy, the light body, the diamond body, the immortal body, the radiant body in different traditions, when these two methods were put together, it allowed that alchemy in which a person could awaken fully while still alive. Now, there's equivalent to it in Tibet called the rainbow body. But again, for the average person, to find a master, in any tradition actually, to find any master who's willing to give you the complete teaching is very, very rare. A lot of the great masters have died already. They're only legend. And so the purpose why I am teaching the message is to show that everybody can attain it. There are many traditions in school, mystery school, but we call them the flowers of the root. That means that there are many methods based on the people. There's a teacher for every person. But then it comes to a point where you want to learn the root, the very beginning where all the schools originally got their knowledge from. And this is one of the main roots that allowed a person regardless of age, sex, health, to awaken again, to be perfect in their self. And so what happens is equivalent to rainbow body in Tibet, again, in the rainbow body there's many variations. A high lama would shrink down as he converted mass into energy. The atoms in the body would get smaller and then eventually there would be a burst of light, nothing left but the nails and hair. There are other variations of rainbow body where they could stay here after they attained it. Again, these are very, very rare practices and requires a long time of study. And so I decided to dictate with my life is to show the people how to do it without any attachment, without any following, any guru, to be self-reliant, self-awakening, self-healing, so that this art can be given to anybody who is willing to learn it. And that's what I want to do. I want to spread out to everyone, strangers, everybody. And from what I've seen with people, how they've reacted in Japan, and in the mainland, in California, I might have a group of 100 people. And at least, I'd say 90 to 95% will have an experience, just a short, short period of time, 20 minutes, half an hour. And so now it spreads. I don't have to say anything, and it was spreading more and more to other countries. So now, this is telling me that Kunlun should be taught to the, the masses, for people. People these days are looking for self-awakening. A lot of people can't find a teacher. They might be in an isolated area and they really desire enlightenment, awakening. And so Kundalini gives that ability to the average person. So it spreads everywhere. And I figure that if a lot of Kundalini people, there's five levels of bliss. <clears throat> they're very happy after. They're no mopey, they're healthy, they never get sick. And so what happens is that it can spread everywhere and it creates this kind of energetic pockets everywhere of this blissful energy. Now imagine it, you have one group, it's like a drop in the pond. The ripples only go out so far. So imagine the pond is like earth. Now I have pockets everywhere. Boom, 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 it's like rainstorm. After a while, all these little patterns, these ripples by the individual uh, drops start to come together and change the earth. So this is what, I, <clears throat> what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, to show people if I can do it, and I was just like you. You know, I wasn't well, 
I didn't believe in anything, but my teachers were nice enough to give me this knowledge. And they knew I would pass it on to other people. 